Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how can you create your own chatbot which works almost like chat GPT. So when I'm saying almost, it means you will not get exactly same response like chat GPT, but it will, it would be like very close to that. And here we are using OpenAI API along with the Python. So let's get started. So first of all, I will quickly show you how to open that OpenAI portal. So you can Google it and just click on this OpenAI. So either you can click here or you can open directly openai.com. So once you are here, you need to click on API. You need to log in here. So I will quickly go ahead and log in. Okay, so once you are logged in, uh, what you need to do is you need to go to examples and search for chat. And from here, why uh, we can go to this open and playground. So it will open the same chat app in the playground. So once you are here, you can like read about all these parameters in the documentation but what i'm trying to show you here is to grab some initial code so rather than writing everything from scratch we will just take some snippets which are already written over here and another thing which you will notice is like when you are working with like chatbot kind of thing you need to in case of uh, this particular model you need to define that what is your conversation about and what this assistant is all about. So that's the reason it is saying the following conversation is with an AI assistant and it is helpful, creative, clever and very friendly. So this is how human will speak. I mean type and this is the response which you may get from this chatbot. So let's click on this view code. And this is the initial code which is uh, written and which is working for this particular playground. So I will quickly go ahead and grab this Python code from here. So here you can see there are three to four different languages. So you can choose whatever you want, but I will go with Python here. So once this is done, the very first thing we will do as a developer is we need to go ahead and install the required modules. So the first module is open AI so once it is done we need to install <clears throat> gradio so I will say pip install gradio so gradio is a free and open source python library which we can use to demonstrate any like machine learning model with a very friendly web interface so rather than spending time on constructing the interface we can quickly use it and it will run on our local machine so okay so on my machine i have already installed these two packages earlier so that's why it is saying requirement already satisfied let me quickly go ahead and paste the code which we just copied okay so here we need open ai import os and then i will go ahead and quickly say import gradio as let's say alias as gr okay now coming on to this particular key what we can do is we can go back to our portal and click on this option here so it will take you to the api key so I will go ahead and quickly generate one new key and I will copy it. Let's quickly paste it here. So I'm not setting it an environment variable, rather just take it as a string right now. Okay, so make sure to copy this because once you said, okay, you won't be able to see that key again. So that it would be easy for us to call. So I will quickly go ahead and define a function so def and we can say create prompt we can say or we can say open ai create and here we will pass in the prompt so prompt is nothing but the user string which a user wants to uh, like user wants to provide when interacting okay and this would be the entire thing let me shift these a bit okay 
and then we need to return so i would say return response dot choices and we'll go with the zeroth index we will quickly show you what is happening over here and apart from that we can quickly pull this prompt out so i will declare this variable over here and we can get rid of this because every time this is going to change whenever user is providing input so we have to make this a variable okay so till here we are good next thing we need to do is we need to like maintain the history like what user is writing how to maintain the context so whatever the previous statement was accordingly we need to come up with the new statements so for that we need to write a function and i will call it as um, conversation history which will take two parameters input and history so input is the one which a user is going to provide and history is what has happened in past so here i have already written some code so i will quickly grab and paste it over here so what we are doing here is initially when string is empty then we are creating an empty list then we are appending the input to it so that our complete collection will become one single item and then we are returning uh, here we are appending input to that output and we are written, returning this tuple so let's go ahead and see what next so till here we have maintained the context we have taken the input from the user now we need to write something for the ui so for ui like i said we are taking this gradio here and gradio uh, works with the blocks so we need to create block over here i will quickly say blocks equal to uh, gr dot blocks and we can use with block over here to refer this and then we will set all the initial properties which are required to associate this chatbot with the grader so let's say gr dot uh, okay so let me create an object first for chatbot so gr dot chatbot and then we need to say uh, set the message here so we can say message equal to text box because we need to create the blocks what all we want to see in our ui so that's what we are doing over here so placeholder equal to prompt and then we need to define the state so gr dot state at the end we will have one submit button on click of which we want to trigger this process so we will say trick gr dot button and let's name it click or send whatever okay so once this is defined next thing is we need to perform the submit button click submit click and inside this we need to pass our all the functions which we have created so our first function is this conversation history then we will have inputs which is like message which we are creating about and the state and the last parameter which we need here is outputs and here i will say chat bot and state okay so we are almost done next thing we need to is to launch so block dot launch i would say debug equal to true and let's try to run this first it will take few seconds so block is not defined probably we did some mistake uh, it is blocks and here also i need to say blocks launch
Ah, it has no attribute. Let me quickly see what mistake I did. It should be capital S. Now you can see that it ran successfully and it is running on this particular URL. So let's go on to this URL. And see what is happening here. So you can see that these are the initial text which we have provided in the prompt. Let me quickly go ahead and ask it something. So let's say what are the colors in rainbow and you can see that it is start working and it is saying the colors in the rain, rainbow are red orange yellow all these things it has given so it means it is giving us the response so let me ask some other question let's um, get me a tagline for uh, let's say let's take the same example barbershop which I used to take in my earlier videos. So freshen up your look at a barbershop. So you can see that how nicely it is giving. And we can also uh, ask it to like make it longer. So let me quickly, let me quickly give it something like uh, get me long tagline. So let's see. So it has given for restaurant experience delicious cuisine so it is kind of like not 100 percent accurate what we are expecting but uh, yeah let's do some more experiments so uh, write a poem on cute little kid so so basically what I'm trying to say is it is just an idea how it, I'm just trying to give you an idea how you can use that particular API key to make these things work. So definitely this UI is not that easy because we are just taking the default web interface. But when you are dealing with your own application, you can definitely work with other kind of UIs wherein you can construct your own UI rather than going with Gradle. So and here I will say add more details to poem. So you can see that initially here it has written a poem. Then we said add more details. So it added details to the previous context. So it is still adding details to the cute little kid poem. So this is how uh, it is taking the context. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.